How's everyone doing? Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for this trash can right here that looks like a shark. Actually, I'm just kidding. Uh, on my travels today, I went to a few different places. I went to FYE, which I didn't even know there was FY, uh, FYE still around. I went to Walmart. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. And I picked up a couple things. So I figured I'd go ahead and show them to you because they're all Halloween or horror related. And it fits for the 31 days of Halloween. So I did get a garbage can because I needed one for my bathroom. I've had one for a while. And I like that this is in the shape of a shark kind of. That's what I thought of immediately when I saw it. And I just watched The Shallows recently, which was awesome in my opinion. One of the better uh, shark attack movies of a while. I know everybody loved The Reef. I thought The Reef was overrated. I didn't think it was anything special. I thought The Shallows was way better. Blake Lively, stunning. The cinematography was amazing. You cared about the character. But anyways, I'll talk about that in a future update. But today, let's go ahead and first up from Bed Bath & Beyond. I love pumpkin flavored anything. I'll give, give it a shot. Uh, this is pumpkin spice yogurt pretzels, which are so freaking banging. I'm going to have to go back and get more of these from a Creative Snacks Company. I guess that's one of the brands that they deal with. Limited edition, of course, just for the fall season, but these were so good. Holy moly. Banging. Yumtastic. And then I also got some more <laughs> pumpkin flavored stuff. I was like, ah, why the heck not? Nutrigain pumpkin spice bars right there. I like Nutrigain bars. I usually get like blueberry or apple. Um, so these are, you know, a quick snack to go or something. If you're running late in the morning, I grab them. And I, I've never seen the pumpkin spice one, so figured why the heck not. Give it a shot. And then I... <laughs> this uh, right here was a, uh, a gift, actually, which I thought was a really humorous gift. It's a lip balm right there, which I don't really use lip balm that much, but I have lip balm. Mostly, I just like to smell them. <laughs> I know that's kind of weird. But sometimes, occasionally in the winter, I will use them. You know, I have to break down, but I hate lotion. I don't ever use lotion. Lotion's so gross to me, it's greasy. Ugh. But uh, that's what I think of. I think this is like lotion for your lips, but my lips get cracked a lot in the winter. But <laughs> I do love my dog. This was a gift for my girl. So again, it says, I love my dog, watermelon lip balm. And watermelon's my second favorite food. So she just thought that was very fitting for me. I just think that's sweet. It's, you know, something small like this, but it's very meaningful. And I appreciate the heck out of that. And at Walmart, I got two more of the Universal Monsters glow-in-the-dark slip covers. Ingenious marketing right there uh, as far as the, just re-releases essentially but you know they're trying to capitalize off of Halloween and they know horror collectors will collect all the new stuff like that. I mean how many different editions of Halloween and Evil Dead has been put out and, you know they keep everybody keeps buying them you know and so they capitalize and very uh, smartly so. I picked up Phantom of the Opera and Invisible Man, two more to my collection. And I do have, I'll go ahead and show you the other ones. I'd already picked these ones up previously. Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, and then The Mummy. So now I have five and I need three more. I need The Creature from the Black Lagoon, Frankenstein, and Dragula for all the Universal Monster Glow in the Dark slipcover editions right here. They're Walmart exclusives. Uh, they look awesome. I, I love that concept. And I, for some reason, they did DVD only for Halloween. Um, and I think it was Child's Play 2, maybe, and uh, American Werewolf in London. They should have done Blu rays for that. So the Blu rays were only for the Universal Monsters ones. And for whatever reason, they are super hard to find. Some Walmarts don't have any, some only have a couple. And it's hard to find the slipcovers in great condition. Like, there's like a tiny bit of wear on the bottom, a little ding on the corner, but some of them are just jacked the heck up. And it's pristine slipcovers only in my household. So it's it was impossible to find the, find them in general and then find the slipcovers in great condition. Next up, FYE, uh, I got uh, three of the uh, horror classics horror classics mystery minis right here, series three. This is the newest one, and they have some cool looking ones. Oh, I love the the twins from The Shining on here. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, the Beetlejuice one too. Love that, Alec Baldwin's character right there. Um, yeah, American Psycho looks awesome. Yes, yeah, so the American Psycho one is one out of 72, so that's a rare one. So I'll be doing a quick little unboxing video for these, picked up three of them. I'll do that in a separate video coming up. I do like the Slimer one, Elvira's awesome. Uh, yeah, there's some really cool ones. Twisting the Clown, which I think was such an underutilized character in uh, American Horror Story, the carnival one. I didn't like what they did with this character. They killed him off too soon and just, Ah, I haven't, you know, I loved the first season. And then after that, it seemed to go downhill. And I liked uh, the carnival one, the freak show one. Uh, but then they 
I, it could have been so much better in my opinion. I don't know. I'm not a American Horror Story. I love it, but hate it at the same time. Some of the seasons I just couldn't stand. I felt like they were just jumping the shark all the time, trying to do all kinds of crazy stuff. But yeah, I'm excited to check these out. I do love those. And then Walmart had horror t-shirts. Now, the Walmart over here didn't have that many. They only had a couple, um, but I had to pick these up. They were five bucks a piece. The little uh, sticker says seven fifty, but I got them for five bucks. And first up is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love it. That is such an awesome shirt for five bucks. Can't beat it. And Gunnar Hansen recently passed away. May he rest in peace. Toby Hooper, classic right there. I just think that's such an awesome image too. And just a great deal for the price. And then next up, this is uh, Halloween Resurrection. And I just love that image as well. I just think that's just super awesome with Michael Myers and the... The knives down there, again, five bucks, can't beat that price. And I actually like uh, inside, in the labeling design, you know, they have the titles and stuff, but for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one, I just thought this was super cool. That extra added little touch, that classic shot right there with Leatherface. If you can see it, if that holds up, with the chainsaw above his head. I just thought that was really cool for the tag right there or the interior with the actually tagless, which is, makes it even better, in my opinion, with no tag. So there you go, I uh, picked up some awesome deals, all horror and Halloween theme related. And of course, again, the shark-shaped garbage can. At least I think it looks like a shark. But uh, let me know what you think of these pickups, if you've seen some of the movies, and what was your favorite pickup from this haul right here. I am loving this season. So many great horror movies getting released, re-released horror movies all over the place, TV and the movie theaters, all kinds of cool new horror figures, Funko Pops too. I want to check out the Hot Topic ones. They have like some mystery ones. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And just all kinds of pumpkin flavored everything. These are so banging. If you have a Bed Bath & Beyond, definitely pick these up. If you like pumpkin spice, great uh, flavor of the pumpkin spice. A lot of the pumpkin stuff I've been having, like I tried the Oreo pumpkin spice. Those were disappointing. It didn't even taste like pumpkin to me. It tasted like vanilla cupcakes. But anyways, I digress. I'm rambling. Let me know what your favorite pickup from this haul was. And if you've seen those movies as well, which was your favorite Universal Monster movie? Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.